Uh, so anyways, I was on a part, the way to the parts store and uh, I was thinking seriously all this for uh, a parking brake. I mean, seriously? Hey, John here again. So, I went to uh, put my emergency brake on because I was unloading some stone on a hill there. And I heard a pop. Uh, not much... Uh, not much in the way of, you know, a lot of uh, force, it just popped, the, the pedal went right to the floor, heard a pop. Like I said, it didn't really feel like there was a, a lot of force involved, but, so I thought, well, shoot, I've got the New England version here. Uh, you know, nose to tail full of rust, that probably broke a cable, right? So that's what I was thinking. But looking around, I mean, the cables are still intact. Uh, that being said, it is rusty under here. And... I pulled that plate off of here, the cable's still intact here. So, watch. See how easy it is to put down? It stays down, but uh, trust me, there's no emergency brake. So looking up in here, you might get a better shot. The cable's hooked up. I do believe that because I have this New England version full of rust, these things must have been seized up so I got to get to the bottom of it fortunately I just did these brakes uh, not too long ago maybe a year ago so they should the rotor should come off hopefully we'll see what's doing so get to the bottom of this real quick like but it does look like uh, those are probably seized right to hell right yeah. bummer I mean I was kind of looking for a broken cable I don't know if that'd be better or worse or what I got going on but we'll see what happens like the cables kind of dangling under there but I tried pulling on it. Of course, this ain't moving, so I have a feeling well, yeah, it did manage to get the rotor off. And uh, yeah, it's pretty angry looking in there. I'm gonna have to chisel some of this stuff away. See if uh, yeah, everything's just looking really, really, really angry. Uh, maybe get some air in there and blow it up. I don't know. I gotta get this thing uh, cleaned up a little bit so I can see the parts and hopefully. They don't just fall apart. That I can uh, get this thing free and working again. We'll see. Yeah. Let me clean it up a little bit from a screwdriver or something. I don't know. Yeah. I have a feeling that's what caused that uh, that one piece to break. This was seized up pretty good. I got it kind of free now. I say kind. I still got to work on this, but uh, as you can see, it's moving at least. So there's that. So I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'll get this freed up a little more, and uh, hopefully. Do my best getting that rust out of there. Nothing I could do about it. The heat shield's all gone. I mean the heat shield, the dust shield. You know, as you can see, there's no dust shield. It's just just starting to rot away. Uh, but anyways, let me get in there and I'll get in there with some air. I did get some of this mechanism to start moving. I'll lube it up with some uh, fluid film and we'll have to call that part one, I guess. Free Willy. <laughs> get this part free. And I'll see what's doing with that emergency brake cable under the in the cab there, yeah, see they're starting to move now. All right, let me finish cleaning this up. I gotta get to the other side, clean that up. Then, if I do get this working, I'll have to start using my emergency brake. I don't use this truck that often, that's the problem. It just kind of sits around and rusts. All right, let me get this cleaned up, get some air in there, clean all this crap up, get some fluid in there. I don't know, see if it works. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. Alright, so, can't adjust the emergency brake because this is all just shit it up. Uh, this little doohickey here, I thought it was, uh, you know, I looped it up, but not looking from the inside, just outside in. You know, I thought things were moving, and they kind of were in a roundabout sort of way. But this booger here is seized to that. So I'm going to need this part. Right? I don't know what you call that. Might as well get the whole emergency brake. Parking brake kit. I don't know if I'm going to get uh, bearings. They seem alright. I'll clean them all up. But uh, shoes. Probably don't need shoes. But I got it. Oh, this star is uh, seized. Can't move it. So I gotta get this whole park and brake kit, which kind of explains everything. Uh, might as well use, you know, 
I don't know. I'm just going to put everything new at this point. Seems how it's my vehicle. Labor's free. I got to replace all this stuff. I mean, here's the problem. If you notice, there's no heat or uh, heat shield. There's no dust shield around here because everything just rotted away. I mean, it's just perfect, perfectly rotted away. You know, just kind of fell apart. So I think. Uh, some stuff got introduced here, salt, crud, rust, blah, blah, blah. So here's where we're at. So I gotta get a new uh, shield. I'll get all the parking brake stuff. Get some cables. Again, if I didn't live in Massachusetts, if I lived in Connecticut, this wouldn't be an issue. They don't even expect it. But they pull on this brake every once a year. It's finally toast. Nothing I can do about it. It works a little bit. Uh, I was able to get it to uh, work a little bit, but I gotta get all new stuff. The rotors are fine. I think the hub is fine. I know the hub is fine. Everything's rotating. Uh, I gotta get a see if I can get this this whole flange off. And then uh, hopefully I don't lose any parts. A little keyway. You know how it goes. Just a shit storm. Just trying to adjust my emergency brake. First casualty, not that I care, I'm getting all new cables, but so this bracket came off all right, but this, uh, the way this was sitting in here, the sprinkles, you know, it, it, it had a stranglehold. The rust, you know, rust, it, it's plastic, but it, it just, I tried gingerly to get it out of there, it wouldn't happen, so I did mar it up. Uh, but like I said, I've got new cables coming, so I don't even care. I'm eliminating this whole thing, and then, uh, Took it off the back side of this this guy back here and uh, this lever should come out I'm just gonna yank on it just because uh, crap I gotta get some gloves well screw it uh, just because I got a new one of these coming and it came right out all right so so this is uh, frozen stiff and it's probably been that way for a better part of a year uh, it does look like the boot comes out this way. I've got all new stuff coming. I don't know if it comes out this way or not, but it's definitely going to come out this way. So there's the boot. Um, again, because there's no shield on here, I think this uh, it's just got attacked by the elements. And over time, this the reason why it's wet is I try to lube it up and free it up. Just wasn't having it. So. Houston, we already have a problem. Look, this is a 24 millimeter bolt or uh, socket. Ain't gonna go in. It's not gonna go in because the spring shackles in the way, of course. Even uh, up top here, I can get it on, but I don't think I have enough room for, uh, you know, a ratchet to go in there. So, geez, just for a parking brake. Now I gotta take these, uh, and that looks really, really, really angry. I'll probably just cut them off. Looks like it's on some kind of diet anyway. It's wasting away. I'll probably cut them off. Have to get new U bolts. Boy, this is fun, huh? Yep. I don't see any way around that. I got to get this uh, piece off. I'm not going to put it back the way it is because it's just going to end up rusting again. But looking at that bolt, she don't look too friggin'. I don't know. I could probably just take a hammer and it'll come apart. Right. They, uh, I use an impact wrench to get them off the bolts. Uh, so three out of four of them came off no problem. This, this last one here was uh, a little more lengthy, so I'm assuming this shackle will fall. Oh, by the way, I looked them up. I got them coming. They're ten bucks a piece, so I said, yeah, the heck with it. I'm not going to try to save them. Um, if they were like fifty bucks a piece, because I need four of them, I, you know, I'd clean them up, see if they were saving. But because they're ten bucks, what the hell? So hopefully this uh, plate will drop. Now look the plate up too, it's uh, 20 something dollars. Turns out I need it, I'll get it, but I don't think I will. I just don't want it. There it goes. Nice, huh? Yeah, so these are big honkers, huh? Yeah. See here? I mean, this is supposed to be the diameter, yeah? It's getting a little thin there. I wouldn't say it's half the diameter, but for 10 bucks, you gotta replace it, huh? All these puppies came up 
pretty easy 24 millimeter came off the back side no problem I even used a crescent wrench no I'm just kidding the one uh, I, I couldn't get the impact in there so I had to finish it off with a I don't have a 24 inch wrench so uh, so now what Does this whole thing come off Oop. guess so all right that'll make it easier to clean up for sure clean all that up I'm still still though this don't look right the ones I got coming are uh, the backing plates they didn't come with bolts I hope these ain't pressed in there let's see here I'm gonna have to take this up on the vise take it up on the vise and see if uh oh this is sitting on your knees and I guess it will come off there it's like a potato chip at this point Spine. Just gotta press them in. I don't think it took much. Nah, there might be a shot out there. Yeah, it's just got a little spline. So these are good. I suppose uh, if I had to buy these, you'd have to get them from Chevy, but they're gonna clean up nice. So let me press out the rest of these and get this thing cleaned up. Well, you know, as things go, it's a whole lot of extra steps just for a parking brake. But now that bolts are gone, I'm expecting this thing just to peel off of there. Oh, it's left of it. Boy. Still putting up a fight. Wow we. So anyways, if I was gonna sell this vehicle, I'd just replace just get the brake work on there. I plan on keeping this booger. So you know there's that. I'm gonna, this is unbelievable it's like seeing down it's got to come off of there once I get it off I'll grind everything up make it look pretty and the part comes in oh, yeah. what the hell's going on here wow way down there. Good grief. There she goes. There she goes. So I want to get the new one in. Yeah, look at it. It's all crudded up. Looks like it's aluminum, but it's not. It's, it must be steel, obviously. Looks like a two-piece two piece deal. Well, she's done now. Anyways, when that new one comes, I'll put everything back together. Which way was it? This way? Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I cleaned the uh, spindle up. I cleaned things up the best I could with, uh, you know, basically what I have to work with, which is a file and a uh, scraper and a file. Uh, really, this should be sent to get sandblasted, but, uh, you know, I did the best I could with, uh, you know, one of these wheels. Can't get everywhere, but it's clean enough. I mean, uh, where the surfaces are, anyways. So uh, this thing just kind of banged on it. Things just started falling. But I'm not worried about this shackle. It's got a lot of meat left there. Uh, this I might uh, entertain to take down local garage there, Carl Warzak. See if uh, see if you can sandblast it. You know, I don't know, five, ten bucks. I don't know if he's going to charge fifty bucks. Forget about it. You know, but. Uh, See, see if we can sandblast that and then I'll paint it. If not, I'm just going to douche it with uh, some fluid film here, yeah. Put it back on. So it's just a waiting game right now. I'm waiting for parts, uh, brake cables, uh, the shield here for this, the U bolts for, uh, for this, uh, the other side of the uh, 
the parking brake cable, the intermediate cable. Uh, these little things here, I got a few of them coming. And that's all. I'm waiting. Just a waiting game. So in the meantime, I ain't got nothing to do but uh, wait. Sucks. So I'm going to have to turn this off, turn it back on, get some parts. Yeah. All right, so I wasn't happy with, uh, you know, cleaning this up with a pick file and brush and, you know, wheel or whatever. It just wasn't doing it. That's just one day and rust is starting to come back. Uh, but so <clears throat> I'm waiting for parts anyway, so I decided to go down the old Harbor Freight and get this cheap ass uh, abrasive blaster kit there. And because uh, I have a compressor, compressor that'll run that. So you get what you pay for. The actual media costs more than this doohickey, but check this out. Right out of the box. Big hole. Yeah. So I'm just going to throw tape over it. This is a, a gravity fed thing. It's not like it's under pressure. So I'm going to see how this booger works. And uh, like I said, I'll put some HVAC tape over that or something. See how this works. See if that'll clean it up and then I'll paint it up. Yeah. 50 pound spot blaster kit. I think it's $20. Like I said, the media kit. The, the actual walnut. I bought some walnut. 24 grit walnut. That was twenty something dollars. They're about the same price. <laughs> so we'll see how this sucker works. Let me uh, let me get that thing hooked up. So okay, right. right off the bat, I can tell. I put a few scoops in that uh, that blaster there. The the core stuff does take some stuff off at a much rapid pace, but you're still gonna have to be uh, a little bit patient because uh, it's just the nature of the beast here. We're talking about a gravity-fed twenty-dollar item. So, that being said, it's doing a trick. I don't want to screw my camera up, but I'll show you a little bit. Actually, uh, let me do it on this fella over here. This compressor might come on because I've been doing this uh, a little bit now and it hasn't come on, so it's got to come on any second. So it might have a little volume issue, but... Um, Alright, how about that... that piece of rust in the center there? Right about there. Let's see if we can take that off. No problem. This is the coarse stuff. I didn't even use the fine stuff yet, but it seems to be doing a trick. Again, if you've got patience, it brings it right down to the bare metal, which is uh, for twenty-dollar items, pretty unbelievable. But uh, so once I get all this stuff done, then I can paint it up with no rust. All right. So three days later, I had to wait for some parts to come in. So that guy there is uh, the foot pedal mechanism there. That's uh, the high uh, ticket price, seventy-three dollars, something like that. Then. Um, the next highest priced items were those U-boats. Uh, did I say U-boats? Yeah, those those German submarines back there. U-bolts. Those uh, were $47. Um, then the cables, uh, they're relative, I don't know, 17, 20 bucks, whatever. And then there's uh, the one, I think that's the right cable. And that's the passenger side there. And, uh, all coiled up and these two uh, shields there I want to say 20 bucks I, I can't remember but all in all all these parts to do a complete overhaul here uh, I don't know a couple hundred bucks definitely less than 300 bucks but either way obviously the labor I'm doing it myself is free so for $300 or less I'm gonna replace every goddamn all oh, the intermittent cable there too Everything except for the brake shoes themselves, and I think I, I pointed it out earlier. Uh, they're just parking brakes; they don't get ridden or nothing. So I'll just uh, probably clean them up and uh, do that. So let me get to putting this stuff together here, because this is truck's been sitting here too long. Uh, just a couple of scoops of the good stuff, and uh, double zero, maybe, uh, zero, whatever I use, triple zero, whatever. A little bit of a. Uh, Blast the rust away, and then I'm gonna uh, hit it with this uh, my favorite stuff here, All right? Fluid film. Just to put a film on there, 
protect it, it won't rust. This stuff is great. I'm actually uh, running out. Hope we get some more here. Uh, so I put that backing plate on and uh, it won't rust up for sure. All right, I hope I didn't uh, put too much paint on this thing because uh, I just try to dry fit and it doesn't really fit good. Uh, so basically, I just got everything marked up here, but uh, because I painted everything, this inside ring here might have too much paint on it. I don't know. So basically, we gotta start putting this thing together. So, <clears throat> the problem I'm having is uh, the, the ring itself. First of all, I couldn't find these bolts uh, to buy, so I cleaned them up. There, there's nothing wrong with them, so save a little money there. But honestly, uh, the way this thing fits onto it, because everything's painted up, it's got a little extra, uh, the way it fits into this ring, you know, this ring going in here, it's kind of a tight fit, it's not, it's not fully seating, if you know what I mean, so I'm hopefully putting the bolts in here, we'll uh, cinch it down, I might have to hit it with a hammer, but let's see, let's see where we're at here. Get a couple bolts started. It doesn't do the trick. I might have to take it apart and uh, remember these are spline so maybe I should try to bang that down before I spline them because if it gets warped it's going to be a problem. So this should fit in there snugly but A little bit hesitant to torque these down because there's still a little bit of a eh, actually not bad. Actually, uh, it does seem kind of closed now. Let me get a light in there. All right, so it wasn't uh, where it should have been, so I did have to, uh, you know, put it on a flat surface and uh, tap this. This inner ring has to fit into that plate hub there. Uh, so I just kept tapping around and now you can see it's uh, it's flush now so yeah so it's labeled front so you can't really goof it up because the other one is uh, going to be backwards or upside down in other words uh, let me get some bolts started uh, the other one this piece is going to be on the bottom and the uh, star adjuster is going to be on the top it's completely reversed uh, so keep that in mind but you're not, you can't really screw it up because these go forward you know your caliper goes on here anyways so when you get to the other side because either, these are the same part they're just flipped around so you can't really screw it up actually because this this needs to be on the inside you'll see I mean it can only fit one way really so and these, uh, these indents you know, we'll figure it out but Anyways, so now I can take these uh, spline bolts and uh, suck them down. I don't know if I'm going to hit them with a hammer first, or I probably should set them with All a right, So before you put your U-bolts on, I jacked the uh, axle up. See how there's a little bit of a gap there? There's a pin sitting up, uh, or a tit sticking out, that's got to go into the hole in the spring. So uh, I'm not sure which way it got to go. It looks like it's got to go in. So. I'm just going to wrap out on a hammer, should just plug right in. A bunch of rust probably just fell off. Uh, so, so just be careful of that, because if you put your U-bolts on before that, then you uh, might have some issues. <laughs> Man, your axle's going to slide. Uh, so anyways, now i got uh, I got everything in there. I'll put the U-bolts on. What am I looking at here? You can't see nothing. Um, put the U-bolts on, and then... I'll uh, get to installing all that stuff, and then, uh, of course, the, the brake, and that'll be that, yep. Here's a little better angle. I was going to try it from the reverse side, but this uh, this part that's seized, you know, it's got to have a rubber boot that goes in it. 
First of all, it's got to go this way because your your cable is coming from the back side and it's got a hook in here, you know. Um, I have to pull that cable out a little bit, but you know, like that. So it's got to go through that piece like so. Yeah, I got to pull that cable back so too tight. Uh, so I found from the other side putting this boot in first and getting because there's a little uh, groove here, I got to stick it in. If you try to do this all at once, it's kind of cumbersome. So what I found was uh, I put a little lube on there, but um, uh, around here. Uh, get this thing in there and get it in a the groove. Then you could put this thing, again, lube it up so it slips nice and easy. Uh, get this thing so you can poke it through because it is a little tight fit and uh, that should help things uh, lube up. So once it's on there, you get what I'm saying? So it's got to go through this way though. No other way. Uh, so I'll set that up, get that in there, and then uh, we'll work on this cable. i got to pull this out a little bit because uh, it's too tight. You know, from there, so. All right, so I pulled a little slack out of it uh, so you can do this. So that's the, uh, that's the little doohickey there with the rubber coming through, right? That's your uh, your lever. That's the hole this, is, uh, this mechanism here has got to plug into. So obviously I can't do this with one hand, but... Uh, it's basically going to look like this. Let's start at least. Before I plug that in, I'm going to, uh, you know, take and hook. I'll show you. Before I get that plugged in, I'll try this with one hand. I'm going to hook this. Uh, nah, it's just too stiff. Too stiff with one hand. I'm going to hook that square into that slot. You get what I'm saying, I'll show you in a second. Okay. Something basically like that. Uh, so the boot, everything's hooked up. And uh, I'm not too happy about that. That's it's actually metal. The original was plastic. Um, and it fits in the hole fine. It's got these little tongs or ears so it won't pull back out. But it, it, I don't care that it's loosey-goosey a little bit. It's not quite as tight as the plastic. Not worried about that. The cable action works. I tried it, but um, what I'm worried about is this is metal. You know, it was plastic, so metal on metal in New England. Got out of the last, what, 10, 10, maybe 15 minutes, you know. Uh, so, anyways, it is what it is. So, I, I'm going to ship this all up with uh, some fluid film, anyways, to help protect it. But that's it. That's, uh, that's the connection there. And that side here. This is the, the lever where my brakes are going to go, which is the next step. But this is the rubber piece I was talking about. You just got to make sure, which does look like it needs to be adjusted there. Got to make sure uh, everything is plugged in and sealed because uh, you don't want crap coming in there. Or this, this hole up here where your brake, uh, your brake uh, star wheel and all that business is. I'm going to lube all this up with uh, fluid film anyways, but anyways, that's your uh, brake action. So, let me get the uh, brake shoes in operation, turn the light back on so somebody can see something. It's like midnight back here, not really, but, uh, so, that's the next step. So I got that cable, everything's hooked up, everything's hunky-dory, everything seems okay. Make sure nothing's touching, obviously, chafe, rubber hole, yada yada. Alright, so let me get to the, putting the shoes on. Well, now I just cleaned these shoes up. At this point, uh, they look a little thin there, but it's starting to lift here. See that? I don't need that thing to break off, so uh, I you know the amount of money I spent already. Another 20 bucks ain't gonna matter. So instead of cleaning these up, I'll just get new ones. I suppose this is the part where uh, tools could be flying because, uh, shit, already. Um, you know how things go with these. Uh, thing just fell apart already. I didn't even do nothing. Um, let me get this back together here. So basically just putting it together, you know, the way it was, and uh, trying to secure this thing on. Sometimes it could be tricky. So these, uh, this top notch down here goes on your uh, bracket part. And then the second notch, you gotta fit it into this bugger. So 
and, and spread it at the same time. So it is kind of a pain in the butt. But let me get this on and I'll show you kind of what I'm talking about here. So I just want to start this side first. In the hole. Just let that sit. Uh, get this, uh, you know what? Alright, well, sorry about that. I ran out of memory space, so I had to go inside and erase some stuff. So, uh, let me recap where I was. So, there's probably a few ways you can do this, but what I did is I, I put this uh, mechanism together, all loose and goosey, and then uh, I started on this side. I, I plugged it into where it's supposed to be on this side, and then um, you know, stretched the spring out and got it hooked on this side. Of course, it wants to pop out. You guys kind of hold it and got the C-clamp holding it on. I put this side in here, and I noticed it didn't look any cool. This, uh, these pins here. I don't know what these things are made out of. Pewter, <laughs> because uh, it seems to me it, it almost twisted off. Can't really see, but it's holding. So. You know, when you push your spring in, twist it. Uh, and that's uh, another thing. Where am I at here? This thing here, you got to have biotic uh, arms and hands, feet, so all that. So I'm going to squish this a little bit just to help myself along a little bit. Uh, because to, to force that in, uh, you know, it's just too much. So, anyways, get from the back side, the pin comes through. You know, you've done this a hundred times. It's always frustrating. But I set it up to where when I'm going to, you know, twist that, it's going to be against this wall. So you don't have to, you know, <laughs> exert a lot of force. So I've got it in there. Try it with the big guy. If not, then that should do the trick. Yeah. I wish I had a longer pair of waist grips. frustrating so yeah squish that you'll be a lot better off you try to force that in without uh, squishing that in good luck so anyways now we can take this uh, take this little holder off all right so now if you need to jockey it one way or the other it's fine it's about where I want it so now the hub I got to put the hub on now right that's the next move but once I get the hub on and uh, get my deal all cinched up, it's easier with the rotor off, in my opinion, to adjust this, you know, because this thing's all free flowing right now, you know, and we can move this in and out. I could, you know, try to fit the rotor just to get it to slip on. Because going through here with your little brake tool on the back side of this, you know how that is. It's a pain in the butt. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the hub on next. <clears throat> Crap, I forgot to lube that up. i got to lube this up. Get some white lithium grease or whatever in here. I made my favorite, uh, my favorite stuff. Fluid film. I don't know. We'll use something. Uh, so let me get the hub on here. That's the next move. Get this thing all back together. Yeah, I'm spending way too much time. Alright, so next up. What I did is uh, replace that seal there. And... Uh, there's a tool for it, of course, a tool for everything, but I just lightly tapped with a, uh, with a brass hammer all the way around. It kind of seated pretty easy, uh, but there is, according to the directions, if you don't use the tool, you have the, uh, you know, you could crush this and it won't work, blah, 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 but I already tested everything. Everything's good. Uh, so, no, I did measure this. Uh, I don't have to lube or grease any of this because, you know, the... Uh, uh, axle, uh, what, are, what do I want to call it, the, uh, the fluid, the pumpkin fluid, what the hell you call it, goddamn gear oil, what the hell's wrong with my brain, uh, the gear oil seeps out here and moves all the bearings, so, uh, I did measure, where's my little thing, I did measure, remember, I marked it, it's way in, it's got to go way in, and, uh, Shoot, I don't have my hammer, so there's Keyway, there's my spot. 
One, two, yeah, you bastard. You bastard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, gotta go a little. Gotta go a little more. So I got ten turns. I had twelve coming off. So again, it taps down pretty easy, as you can see. Whoop. There's eleven. Okay. Twelve. Well, I'll back her off to right there. That's twelve. I could stick my keyway in right there. Let's take a measurement. That's right on the money, my little ticks. Uh, so I don't think. Everything's quiet. I think that's it. So I'll put that little uh, keyway in. Let me see. I mean, uh, I gotta go get my tape measure. I, I have a, a mark measured on this uh, brake shoe. Let me just so see if that's right. And if it is, I'll pop that spring in. But it does seem like that's where I had it. See, again, if you had that socket, the spanner socket, you know, you can crank it down, give the torque spec. I'm sure there's uh, some kind of directions. Uh, go 90, and torque, blah, 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 back it off, quarter turn, you know, whatever it is. I don't know. But that's where it was, so that's where it's going to be. Let me pause this. Just 12 turns. Just 3 eighths. Put my little keyway in. Crap, I have my screwdriver. This guy was like this. Or was it like this? Put the back side of it on there. I don't think so. Yeah, I'm saying I'm a screwdriver. And now I just put this little spring clip around there. I'm going to go ahead and get my set. There it goes. Yeah. So, that's that. No play. She's quiet. Call that a wrap. So, next move is uh, I could put the axle in, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to put the axle in yet. I'm going to put this uh, rotor on here. And, uh, well, you can't see it, but right here, uh, I can uh, spin this star, yeah? So I'll spin this star, push these shoes out to where the rotor comes on snug, or, you know, and then back it off. Uh, that'll be where I'm at. Because, like I said before, to uh, go from the back side here, and because the other side, this is reverse. That star is on a bottom. You know how they do that? They just uh, swap everything around. Uh, my brake tool to fit in here, because of the spring, doesn't really fit. I mean, you have to get all creative and stuff. So I'm going to do it this way. And like I said, adjust it, get it. Really, all you got to do is get it uh, close enough. This is all brake, brand new parts, so it'll be nice and loose and goosey. So that's what I got to do next. Put that rotor on adjust some stuff, put everything together, put the caliper on, clean everything up, get the hell out of here. Been, like I said, I've been working on this way too long for a parking brake. It's just ridiculous. I mean, if you can see the, the amount of work that is involved on a parking brake, come on. Come on, man. Who needs a parking brake for an automatic? Apparently the inspector wants to see it, so that's why I'm doing. Yeah, put this axle back in. Uh, I like to just to get one of these uh, metal gaskets or whatever to uh, yeah, I guess you can just use some, uh, I don't know, gray silicone and stuff, but I cleaned everything up. I'm just going to throw this axle back in because why not, right? It's in the hole. Alright, so put the caliper back on. Clean everything up. Put the tire back on, blah, blah, blah. Shined up my rusty bolts. And just gonna hit this with some paint just to protect a little bit, even though the hubcap's doing most of the work. Uh, and that's it. I'll get to the cables next, huh? Let's see what happens.
All right, so all the uh, hardware is in place. Did all that work. Hooked these cables up. I've got, uh, you know, that, uh, I don't know, I forgot what they call that piece. And then your right cable goes, plugs in there, well, you can see. And then this guy just clips on there, you know, clip, clip. It's about two inches apart, one cable in, another cable in. I'm supposed to have another one of these. It didn't come, and it's not going to be here till later today sometime. I'm not going to wait. I'm going to make my own, at least a temporary one, because i got to see if this thing works. And uh, so here's where we're at with the uh, dilemma. All right, so I think I showed that... Uh, Oh boy, it's dark as shit out. I think it's gonna rain. Uh, I think I showed that uh, parking brake mechanism, you know, with the grenade pin in it. So you see how this this comes to about here, right? And this comes to about here. <laughs> the space between here is probably good uh, five, six, seven inches. I don't know. I'm gonna need like two inches just to hold that cable there with that piece. So, my plan is, instead of taking this, uh, this old thing out, I might do it anyways because i got the piece I haven't decided yet, but here's what you can do as an alternate, right? Hook a pair of vice grips up on this, yank on this as much as you can to get it out, right? Clip another pair of vice grips here to have it from going back in, and uh, do the same here. Yank on this as much as you can, bricks will come on. Put another pair of vice grips here, or here, where it was going to hold here, and uh, then you should have these things about an inch apart so you can put that connector on. That's my plan. I think I'm going to do that just to see if this works, uh, and then make a decision whether I'm going to put that new one in there or not. I mean, it is 73, 75 bucks or something like that, and get my money back, so I might do that because there's nothing wrong with this uh, foot pedal. It was the cable, remember? It broke. Uh, but Again, I got all new cables, so why stop? Keep putting everything new in, but I'll make that decision. Like so, so now, a pair of vice grips there, pulled it out. A pair of vice grips there after pulling it out. And now I've got about, uh, I don't know, half inch, so I could put my, uh, oops, I gotta make something real quick, but uh, I'll put that on, release these, and test my brakes. <sighs> Yeah, it only took a uh, better part of two days to do this. Uh, not full time, I mean, you know, on and off, but hey, look, rust. Uh, I think it's something like this. The barrel ends are an inch and an eighth away from each other from, you know, the stock version of this because this thing's so heavy duty. Um, I'm gonna, I just made T slit, slit, slit. The, eight, the inch and an eighth is going to be here with a barrel. Oh, See this barrel just fits in here. So I'll crimp it. You understand? Hopefully I can crimp it. Hopefully that metal is not... Uh, it's pretty thick metal, but I think I can crimp that behind the uh, barrel. Right? Of course the other side will stick in. Crimp it, and that'll be uh, exactly what I need. And I won't have to wait to the mail. This uh, it looks like it's going to work out. I'll shoot it with a little paint because that'll probably rest up a few minutes. <laughs> so let me put that on and see what happens. That worked out pretty good. It crimped down nicely. So now I can release these. Uh... Oh, god damn, that's hard. Release. There we go. One. And this should suck it right in. Now uh, it's got a little slack in it. Let's see. See what happens here. Oh yeah. Took the slack out, so and uh it's not bad. Better than factory. It's nice and thick anyways. I'll have to paint that up so it don't rust. So I'll probably just leave that there. That'll work. Uh so everything looks tight. Let's see if the e-brake works. Parking brake, whatever you want to call it. Okie doke, let's see if this thing works. Or it's all for nothing. Ah, 
first order of business. Let's see what things. Two things left. I have to uh, adjust the, uh, you know, the wheels. I, I, need, I need a couple turns out. I also have to put some uh, fluid back in there in the rear end. So let me get to that and see if I just adjust right, So I did the other side. What a chore. What a chore. Getting up in there one click at a time. So this is going to go way easier than I would expect. Uh, get my little plug out. Get me a little plug out, my wrench in, I can see the stars, the down is out. Oh, see, I don't have uh, much of any drag on this. But I think I hear some drag. So anyways, you get the point, you just down, down, down. Once it's got drag, you know. Oh, that might be enough. Yeah, I think that's enough right there. Yeah, that's enough, I can see. Uh, it, it's a little hard to turn, so I'm going to back that off uh, one click, one or two clicks, and then uh, while I'm under here, fill that oil, but then uh, drop this on the ground and see if that works. Let me back that off one click. Up is in. Okay, so now let's see if this will come out. Uh, so I don't expect to put a lot in here. Not a lot fell out, but uh, you know, I got to get, I got to make sure the uh, bearings are getting their proper oil for sure. There's a way to do that. I gotta jack up, uh, jack up one side. Let it drool to the bearings there for a bit. Walk away. Jack up the other side. Let it drool on the other side. But I gotta fill this first on level ground. Of course. Hopefully this this won't break off or do anything stupid. Yep, she's rusty. Rusty. Oh boy. Oh boy. Lucky Lucy. Oh boy, that's too tight. Shit. Ah, fuck. God damn it. Do not strip this up. This little weak ass, uh, cheap ass. Oh my god, I think it's breaking. Jesus Christ. Yeah, maybe one thing, it's another. Well, of course, it ain't budging and it's starting to wow it out. That square is no longer square, and this uh, Craftsman is the only one I have that's got a decent square square. These uh, breaker, no, they're not really breaker bars, they kind of have rounder edges. So, I got to keep going at this point. I mean, I got to put a uh, break, uh, pipe on here, and if that strips out, it strips out. I'll have to figure something else out, weld something on there. Actually, I might, uh, might get the torch and heat that up best I can, because... Uh, I gotta get some fluid in here. Well, put some, uh, put the torches on it, and uh, whew, that was close. It's uh, it's loose, but hotter than shit. It's hotter than shit still. So I don't know if anything's gonna come out of here. All right, so I just put the fluid in there when it was on level ground, filled it up till it starts spilling out, obviously. Uh, so then I jacked up uh, this side here, just to have it uh, gravity flow over that side there yeah and if you remember I didn't I didn't replace that $30 seal on this side so we're gonna see hopefully that nothing leaks out <laughs> and uh, then I'll do the same thing I'll move the jack I'll go over here jack this side up yeah uh, it's a good I don't know five six seven inches off the ground uh, and then uh, get uh, get some fluid flowing back and forth in this axle 
to uh, hopefully lube them uh, bearings because I don't want to go back in here. Yeah. Anyways, that's almost it. I'm kind of excited. Everything's uh, ready to go here. I do have to go out in the driveway see if my parking brake holds uh, because I did them adjustments. But that's pretty much a wrap here. Uh, like I said, I'm just going to jack that side up and pull her out. So, All right, so I got everything good to go. One more uh, test drive. Uh, I mean, there might be a minor adjustment, but if this holds in park and or drive in reverse, that's all the inspector is looking for. I don't think he's going to nail on the gas to see if it's going uh, to So, it's in park. Put it in drive. Let you put off the brake. Three rolls. Put it in reverse. Three rolls. Alright. Put it in drive. Yank on the brake. It holds, you can drive. In reverse, it holds. So, what else are you asking for? You uh, crank on the brake, I mean, uh, let the brake go. Move, Turn it forward, crank on the brake, let the brake go. It holds. What else you want? You know? Uh, so that's it. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. I know. All this for an emergency break, for a parking break, or whatever. That's it. So, hold. Oh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's all I got. Thanks for watching.